Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to discuss today. Hopefully you caught last night's special video, and for a moment take in the pretty plasma filaments dancing around the limb. Now let's get started at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was relatively quiet. Minor eruptive behavior bottom left at the incoming active region. Now while the sun itself was calm, we told you that last night we were expecting the faint glancing impact of a CME, the one both NASA and NOAA said was going to miss our planet, both in their endless spirals and in their written descriptions of what to expect from the solar wind. Folks, this is the difference between their computer models and human eyes watching satellites. The impact was weak, as expected here, at that skyscraper looking purple spike. CME only lasted 30 minutes and no geomagnetic storms occurred, again as expected. Capping off space weather is a look at the sunspot progression. Oh boy, it's trying to act like sunspot maximum but just can't quite get there yet. Getting further into that development though, by the month. Quick note as the predictions of the cycle will continue to update as the early data comes in. This one predicting a similar but slightly stronger geomagnetic effect this cycle, which would not be a good thing with Earth's weakening magnetic field. Speaking of that, good paper out describing how geomagnetic storms begin, endure, and fade out of their ozone destruction phases. Chemical changes begin quickly, and would begin even quicker with Earth's weakening magnetic field. Let's regroup our minds and head out to a lonely area of space where some of the earliest mature galaxy shapes are being spotted thanks to GTC's overlook on Hubble frames, earliest galactic shape takers on record. An excellent preprint up next, trashing climate model sensitivity to CO2, way overkill. Read the paper at the link below, it's a good one. But the better climate story today is when the so-called experts say it has not been the glacial interglacial cycle of about 100,000 years that has worked life in Africa over long periods. Instead, they say it's the wet and dry oscillations with El Nino, but on the millennial scales. They turn right around and claim it has been on about a 100,000 year cycle, and yes, observers, you can just start laughing at them now. Now silence. We're back at Yale's cosmic pancake story from two years ago, and the flat electric fields containing clusters and groups have been imaged locally, and we're touching it. Interestingly, the plane of the galaxy appears oriented almost perfectly perpendicular to the local sheet. It's been hard to see because of the dust, adding on to that recurring paradigm on this show. Dust surveys of re-emitted infrared are revealing that 70% of the light is missed in UV surveys. 70%. That's psychotic when you realize they have claimed to see enough to nail down details of the cosmos for the last 40 years. Where have we heard this before? Atmospheric vortices, tornadoes, tropical storms, and even the global electric circuit flow up and down, all driven geomagnetically. This comports with the storm forcing section of our textbook in chapter 5 and the numerous peer-reviewed papers tying the two together statistically. Last but not least, folks, Dr. Herndon has been geophysics version of me for more than 40 years. Too much heat and pressure in the core for magnetism or convection, but an inner, inner core, barely 12 kilometers thick, can be the genesis of the entire field explain magnetic reversals, and can also be worked by solar storms, where they can trigger volcanic eruptions, if not magnetic reversals themselves. I don't think this guy knows about this channel, but something tells me he'd love it. We greatly appreciate your support. If you missed last night's video, it is a doozy. Rundown of the planet's changing, why you need more than just impactors for the disaster, and what the disaster cycle actually is. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.